My congregation, our offering for this morning is for True North Aid and uh, particularly for the work that Ken Smid uh, does with them. Uh, we are very grateful for uh, the, the opportunity to support him uh, and his family in that ministry. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can read more about it in the bulletin. So I would encourage you to check that out and prayerfully consider what God is leading you uh, to give uh, to that ministry and or the church budget, whatever you need to do. Also, in terms of uh, congregational prayer, I uh, would just encourage you to uh, pray for uh, Lisa Dullamond. Uh, she has had COVID for the last uh, little while. Now she is uh, recovering. She was feeling quite a bit better yesterday, and that's great. And so far, Alan has managed to avoid getting COVID, and so we praise God for that as well. <clears throat> Please also continue to pray for uh, Sue. Uh, in her situation, uh, in her cancer, uh, pray that uh, those treatments that she is getting will be very helpful for her as well. And then uh, please also uh, pray for all of those in our congregation who are struggling with sickness. Uh, we think particularly uh, right now, uh, there are so many doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers in this province and even coming in from elsewhere uh, who are helping um, those hospitals that are really snowed under. Uh, so, you know, pray for them. Uh, there are also many people who are suffering additionally because they cannot get the surgeries or medical treatments that they uh, need because they're non-essential right at the moment. So pray for them as well. Pray also for Mark, uh, Mark and Henny. Uh, Henny continues on with uh, her journey, uh, but Mark has uh, recently had, um, yeah, a spot on his uh, stump and so he is not able to wear his prosthetic right now uh, and he's laid up with that so please pray for him uh, that he would recover soon he's got a, a nurse coming in uh, every other day to help out with that so yeah we're we're hopeful and uh, praying for a quick uh, recovery for him as well Let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for bringing us together again this morning. Lord, we pray that you will be with us as we come to uh, the scripture, that you would have us study for the message today. We pray that you would open up our hearts to hear what you would have us hear, that we would, um, through your Spirit's leading, uh, be guided into this week and into uh, our lives ahead. Uh, may your word sink deep into our hearts and minds and souls and even into our very bodies. Father in heaven, we praise you for all of the planting and so on that has been uh, been going on over the last little bit. We pray that you will continue to protect our farmers who are in the thick of that. We are so grateful uh, that uh, there are no uh, significant injuries at this point, at least none that I'm aware of. Uh, Lord, we pray for your hand of protection upon them still. Father, we pray also that you will continue to be with those who are struggling with physical, mental, emotional, spiritual illnesses. Lord, please guide them and strengthen them. Bring them healing through your power. Bring them healing through uh, medical or psychological professionals. Bring them healing through uh, just, yeah, your presence, oh God. Father, we pray in particular uh, right now for Mark uh, and, and Henny. Uh, Lord, we pray that you will uh, continue to walk in their journey with them. And particularly, oh God, we pray that you will uh, heal Mark's uh, stump quickly, uh, that he may uh, be up and about and, and doing what, uh, what he loves to do uh, very soon. 
Father, we pray too that you will be with Ken uh, and uh, his family as they continue to minister with True North Aid. Uh, Lord, please uh, give, give him wisdom and guidance. And Lord, may our offerings be a pleasing aroma to you. Father, we, we pray as well that you would guide us is as we continue on in this journey of life. Lord, may we be a welcoming and open and wonderful presence. May we comfort those who grieve around us. May we shine your light in this world. Father, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.